Hello, Guyana here. Today, for lesson number two in Cartoon Animator 5, they did a very simple animation to show how easy it will be to animate objects in Cartoon Animator 5. I chose this little dolphin that I drew and I colored it. I used a little shading when I colored it. Now, when you do your graphics, they suggested that you do your graphics 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. So I made my artboard 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. Then I brought in my little created uh, porpoise. The one thing I did learn while I was playing with this is you need to select all and you need to group it. Object group. Now, when you save it as an SVG, it's going to be one piece, not a bunch of separate pieces. I know it says a thousand by a thousand, but this kind of, for me, wastes a little space. So I'm going to do the document setup, and I'm going to go ahead and shrink it down to where it is a thousand width, but I'm going to make it smaller on the height, just so it won't waste space. Now we have it all prepared. You draw it in Illustrator, and then you prepare it by a thousand by a thousand. You can shrink it. It doesn't really matter. That's just space. And then you say File, Save As, and we're going to save it as an SVG file. This is what Cartoon Animator 5 requires when you use Illustrator to be able to bring it into Cartoon Animator 5. Click down here, use the artboard, so we want it. make sure it's the right size, and then click Save, and that is how we prepare our simple vector drawings in Illustrator for Cartoon Animator 5. I hope you enjoyed this. Come back for Lesson 3, and I'll show you how we start animating it in Cartoon Animator 5. Have a great day, Diana. When I saved mine, the settings that I used for fonts was Convert to Outline. Then the image location should be embedded. Your advanced options, you want the presentation attributes. And I use three decimals. You can use two if you prefer and then you just click OK. These settings are good for Illustrator CS6.